Welcome back, as you can see. As I said, this is from the last video. <laughs> so my shit's still there. Uh, we actually wanna get started with 20-88-20 workout uh, program coming soon for you guys. So I hope you enjoy this one. Uh, a mixture of body movements and weighted movements. So uh, pretty much finding a happy medium. And uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of push-pull today for you guys. So hope you enjoy. Three sets. You may talk about range right now. And I'm staying in a range that's comfortable for my elbows right now because certain ranges where I hit too high at the top that my elbows start to hurt and too low at the bottom sometimes that my elbows start to hurt. So I'm staying in the middle, a sweet spot that is with me, my, my body, my feeling um, connection. You know, it's not may not be the same for you. You may not have those problems. So once again, I wanna you know, remind you guys, stay within your rep range. If you feel pain, you know, going too far or going too up, then stay in between, right? You know, don't listen to anybody that says full rep, blah, 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 this. I'm all about full reps, trust me, but I'm all about being smart about training as well and stay within the range of no pain. There is no no pain, no gain when it comes to muscle recovery. Fuck what the old man said, old bodybuilder ass nigga, or, or, or your, your gym bro. There's a certain point when it comes to like a pump, and like your chest just wants to explode and you just want to keep going, it's a different story. But when it comes to joint health and ligament health, those are things that you really have no control over. You know what I'm saying? That's why like a muscle, you can grow it. You can make it stronger, whatever. Ligaments and stuff, yeah, you can make it stronger, you know, certain areas around it to prevent from like hurting. But if it's hurting, you need to find a different solution. So three sets of 20 also here. Chin ups, that's just one way that I've stayed healthy without my lifting career, is that I always stay within my conscious, like, mind. I keep in mind, like, hey, you know, it's hurting right here. Let me change things up. Where I still get that output and work, but I'm staying smart at the same time. You know, a lot of times in high school, just coaches, you know, I got into an argument with a coach, because I'm like, yo, something's hurting. I'm doing this movement, and coach, coach don't care. All I care about is you just getting the work done. I don't want to know more reps, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, like something's wrong, you know? And sure enough, I had like some going on. It was, I think it was like around uh, squats. I had some going on in my hip area that was pinching. And you know, that's, that's you don't, I don't, I don't play with the lower body. If something's pinching or my lower back, whatever, you're like, yo, that's one thing. I ain't trying to lose, I ain't trying to be paralyzed. So be smart, stay within your range. If, if you, somebody's telling you to do something, and it hurts how they were telling you to do it, then you need to find a solution and work around that, not just push through it. 20 reps is too much. Find that band. Just to be fair, I can't truly do a chin up with this, so makes it a little harder. Chin ups are usually closer, like this, and I can't do a reverse either, uh, like I want to for 20 reps. But that's fine if you can't get the full 20, as long as you're going to AMRAP. If you're if 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 you're if you're 20 is 16, it's perfectly fine. If you're 20 is 15, that's all you can get. It's perfectly fine. That's the goal. It's gonna be a tough battle. We try to keep those body weight movements high rep sometimes it won't be high rep it'll be eight rep and weighted to the high rep with 20 or eight reps and weighted with uh the body weight movements uh but it pushes it you know it's like it's like it's gonna it's gonna push you you know 20 reps is a, is a hard number for pull-ups you know so once again you can have band resisted if you even need to do the uh the pull-up assisted you know where you put your knees on it 20 reps bang them joints out you know what i'm saying it's like you can get it done you can definitely get it done just mental. When it comes to a program, people are gonna be like, yo, it's Ron, it's a lot of reps, 20 reps. And one thing about it is, is that somebody's gonna do it, right? Somebody's gonna do it. I can make a program 10 reps, right? Somebody can say 10 reps is a lot. So, so, and I've, I've had people like hit me up on some uh, parts of the program, like, hey, you know, four reps, like, is that enough? Like, if you're saying four reps is not enough, then that means you're not putting enough effort into those four reps, right? Because I can grind hard as fuck on bench, squat, deadlift, whatever. But hell, two reps, one rep. You're going for max, two, three, four reps. That's all depending upon you and what your max and stuff is supposed to be. 
So, eight, 20 reps, somebody gonna get it done. If you wanna complain about it, you complain about it. But somebody out there working. So now we got our sets of eight with dumbbells. We're gonna go with the 105s. I know air who and who and every who in my random. Who gon' bring my crown? Who gon' try to fuck me? Fade it off the ground. Cause she can't get enough of me. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine. So, one thing I try to do is use the same weight with dumbbells for back work as well. Same thing, eight reps, four sets. Cause he likes so like long, you know? Cardi. I'm done. I'm gonna save the back, some more back training for later on today. Cause especially having that done first and then going from that. Uh, we got a lot of reps done today already just from the dips and the pull-ups and then on top of that with some strength stuff uh, a little bit still hypertrophy but strength as well um, with the the bench movement the incline rows and the flat bench so I'm calling it quits right now I'll have to go play some ball playing ball after you work out is such the weirdest feeling peace When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny.